because he's going to say he's not a slave. Rise and shine! What time did he get you out of bed, sir? <laughs> What's up, guys? So it's Saturday. It's our last day here. And we're going to ride around and see what all we can get into. Get Ponte Inlet Lighthouse. Cabbage Patch. Cracker Bear. Um, Cackleberry. You know, pause it for Cracker Bear. Only the air that blows through it. <laughs> Kinda. Here we go. Get ready to go all the way to the top. <laughs> you gotta be in good physical condition. You can't you can't run up it? Why would you not be able to run up it if you was able to? No flip flops. You're at the friggin' beach. Oh, there's just too many rules in this world. That's crazy. All right, we made it. First landing. Still going up, but this is how far we've came. From down there where them black and white squares are. Um, we're up where we go. All right, this is the fourth landing. Here's how far we come. Can't even see the bottom no more. So we're still going up. <laughs> this is like the sixth landing. So from this window, you can see the Atlantic Ocean. Although this lighthouse was used to mark the local inlet, its primary purpose was to help vessels navigate along the coast. For example, captains sailing south would find their position here and set a course for the Hetzel Shoal 
What's that? How you pronounce that, Sue? Boy? Boy? <laughs> Which would then guide them around the shoals of Cape Canaveral. No. This is like the sixth landing, I think. And no, you still can't see the top. But you can actually, right down there, those squares are black and white. That's where we started. And then we still got all that to go. Yeah. yeah. All right, this is the service room. <laughs> but I think this is like seventh or eighth landing. Put your face down here, Sue. I feel it on my back. Feels good. Here's the view from here. So when you get to the top, it's like heaven. <laughs> Here's about the service room. If you want to pause it, I'm not gonna read every one of these to the top, but you can pause it and read it. Anyway, on where we go. Yeah. All right, this is the service room. But I think this is like seventh or eighth landing. Put your face down here, Sue. I feel it my back. Feels good. Here's the view from here. So when you get to the top, it's like the the breeze up there. <laughs> Here's about the service room. If you want to pause it. I'm not going to read every one of these to the top, but you can pause it and read it. Anyway, on where we go. All right, guys, we made it to the gallery. Stop and pause that. Keep her on watch. This tells about the watch room. I know, it's not for us to go up there. Yes, because and then that goes up into the yeah, the, the lens, the light. Okay, mommy, uh, this tells about the lens. <laughs> you would scare me to death, buddy. Oh, we're going to pause these guys. You This is about the curtains. The lens pedestal. <laughs> And the watch room cabinet, which is this wooden cabinet here. So anyway, we're gonna go out on the on the lighthouse. I'm not too scared. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Check this out. You can see all the way up to Daytona. You can see all the way down across. That's the inlet. doggy parks so When the tide comes in, you can go out there and lay in the water and it's only like maybe an inch deep and you can just lay there in the sun. It's fucking amazing. Anyway, if you're in Daytona area, Ponce Inlet Lighthouse, come check it out, guys. It's a climb to the top, but it's so worth it.
is a wrap. Bike Week 2024, Daytona Bike Week 2024 is in the books. It was an awesome time. We are loaded, locked and loaded, and headed back to the cold, miserable weather of West Virginia. So anyway, remember guys, you only live once, so get out there and live fast and ride hard, and Mandy will catch you on the next adventure. Peace out.